we need to take the action right now. And if we don't, the results could be catastrophic. Scientists are saying there are going to be more droughts. There are going to be more floods. There are going to be areas of the world that will be underwater. Massive migrations, refugees. To think about that level of intensity and not do something about it, um, I can't imagine not doing something about it. I was a college student at Indiana University and a member of the Student Environmental Action Coalition. We got a call from a woman in Noxubee County, Mississippi, Martha Blackwell. And she said, our community is facing three hazardous waste facilities that want to come in and build in the community. One of them is on land that Indiana University owns. So would you help us? It was so exciting and so challenging. It's the only time in my life that I've had a dream that I was flying. It was just, follow this. This is, this is the right thing for you to be doing. It does come with a weight on your shoulders. I would be surprised if people who feel like they have a calling don't also question that calling all the time. Twice I've had experiences where I was seriously doubting whether I wanted to continue doing the work and I heard Lois Gibbs speak. She's a woman who lived in Love Canal, New York, a small town in upstate New York that was contaminated with toxic waste. It was right under the elementary school and kids were getting sick. The community knew they needed to do something about it but didn't know what to do. Every time that I hear her story of mustering up the courage to knock on the first door, it reminds me that you can make a difference, and it reminds me that I have that courage within me, and I have that spark within me. I've been really excited about the Sierra Club's work on moving beyond coal. We've been fighting every single proposed coal plant across the country. We found that people in every community want to come out and prevent it from being built. We've been able to stop over 130 plants. I remember when we were at 40 and we would clap, you know, when someone said the number and then we were at 80 and crossed 100. It's been something that's amazing. If you care about what's happening in your community, if there are things that trouble you or solutions you see that inspire you, you can make a difference doesn't happen every time, but I know that if you keep at it, that, that things will change. <laughs>